to me, Dude is a lot of fun. Well, I think what's great about Dude is that you have the, the dynamic of three young men, presumably, although it's never stated, presumably living in L.A., like a, an L.A. lifestyle, coming together, you put them in one apartment and it's gonna be hay- it's gonna be haywire. It's gonna be hell. It's gonna be hell on earth. It's when I get together with my friends, and we can show people things we do together. I mean, <laughs> you got three guys living in one apartment, and like it's just, dude is, dude is, sketch comedy. There's really no right or wrong with dude. And we show people how we really do things in our daily lives. We're not afraid to open up. There have been many sketch groups before us. Sketch comedy has been around for millennia. We've already sort of tried our hand at the stand-up format, and that has its merits and it has its pluses, but uh, it does have its downside. So we wanted to find a way of turning these jokes into kind of funny situations and uh, turning them into YouTubes. There isn't one favorite. Can I answer all of them? Because I think they're all, (laughs) uh, I think they're all pretty funny. I'm just looking back at them right now on my phone. I haven't yet gotten a favorite sketch. Of of course, there are always going to be challenges working as an actor. Yes, there's a lot of challenges. And they're overwhelming. Working together with creatives. Creatives are supposed to be, you know, a handful. They're supposed to be emotional. Uh, Some some of them are even uh, bipolar. Three guys living in an apartment, going crazy, having fun, getting on each other's nerves. Well... That same thing is reflected off camera when sometimes you're going crazy trying to film the the damn thing. You know? I haven't had I haven't had that problem with uh, with Joe. I haven't had that problem with John, and I haven't had that problem with Travis. Uh, they're uh, all excellent guys, and they're a pleasure to work with, and they're they're a lot of fun as in person as friends. But we always not just meet these challenges but surpass them. My hope is that in addition to the fun times I'm having chilling with my friends, making sketch comedy, uh, we can also start to see uh, a great amount of gains. When I'm talking gains, I'm talking uh, more number of laughs. First you got 100 hits, then suddenly you got 5,000 hits, and 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 they're filling your coffers with Big bucks. More number of shares on uh, any website, you name it. Myself and what I have to offer. Well, I think the target audience is mainly 15 year olds up to 50 year olds. Common misconception dude is not for guys only. I, I think a dude could be a, a could be a woman too. So for all you women out there, get out there and check out dude. Probably for people like over the age of eighty, if you're hard of hearing, don't see well, have impediments, you may not get as much out of it. But you know, for a young audience to a middle-aged audience, you're gonna enjoy it. In the onion sketch, when Travis is cutting the onion, something that's not revealed until the very end of the sketch, uh, Joe and I think he's crying. We think that there's something wrong, something bad that happened to him. Uh, Of course, as you might expect in a video, uh, we're wrong. Uh, Travis is actually crying because he's cutting an onion. Well, the fact that we don't know why he's crying And we ask him all kinds of questions, which he gives us no answers to until the end. And he's just cutting a piece of onion. Anybody can do that. He's my character, so I 
I sort of have like an inside look on what was going on inside of his head. Uh, so I'm pretty sure my character, when Joe ate that chip, my character was thinking, and you can't debate me on this, um, is that that's an epic troll. I was hungry. So I took it. Why not? Knives have a way of scaring me. Because you can get stabbed by them. Even though I haven't been, I've seen it happen to others. This is fun for us to do. We want it to be fun for you, the audience, to watch and see. Don't take it seriously. Don't get offended. Don't take it the wrong way. We're just having fun with this. And as long as you like it and enjoy it, we love it. That's the best thing. It's all for our way of giving to you and giving you entertainment you do like and enjoy. That's what Dude is all about. Dude. To the fans of Dude, and to this I'll, I'll look directly at the camera and I'll say, please, if you like Dude, share it. Go out there, spread the word. We can only do so much on our own, but as a group with, I mean, you're all part of Dude. If you enjoy Dude, if you like Dude, you're in Dude. You're a dude. So get out there, spread the word, dude. Let people know and have them subscribe because we're gonna go, we're gonna go far. If you're a fan of Dude, uh, all I can say is uh, keep watching uh, and keep going on to the next uh, Keep going, huh? Keep going on to the next video. Oh, and keep watching even the next week. Even after, okay, if I have a message to my fans and the fans of Dude, it's gotta be, even after you've watched one Dude, keep going. Watch it, uh, keep going and watching it the next week too. Cause it's not over then. It's not over yet.